there were video footages and so on. Leonard Gildari called me and asked me to look at the story closely because it seems that justice would not have been served. So let me tell you where the connection came from. I'll, I'll tell you from the beginning. So after that, after I did that story, I received um, a phone call and somebody met out to me to give me a bag. When I collected the bag and looked in, it was money, a handbag, the individually bag. And in me, profanity lays response. You know, it's response. I said, of course, right? I said, fuck? Yeah, I think is it at all. Anybody you just come and hand a bag just so? I then received back a call from Leonard Gildari saying who it was and the, that they just wanted to thank me. Right? But I want to think, being people who does pass a bread for everything they don't have to pay for everything to do, because nobody likes them per se like per se. If you notice how they get attention is you gotta put in a money, forget attention. You understand? I like me. I got people love me for nothing. I got people continue to support me for nothing. They just like me. Right? So, I like... He was our subscribers. Welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss news about Guyana and the diaspora. We have a video, a very important video, with this millionaire CEO who's exposing Guyanese critics' hidden agenda. You need to see this. But we are going to explain why we start playing this video with Guyanese critics claiming someone gave E a bag of money. He claimed it is a reporter working at Kaito News, Gildari. That means he has been compromised. And if the news sharing out money for people cover story, that means it is very hard to trust the news. But Guyanese news is different. So you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. According to what Guyanese critics is saying, someone pull up, give you a bag of money for try to cover the story where this person got beaten up at Palm Court. We know what's going on at Palm Court. Well, all right, now check out this video with this influencer exposing Guyanese critics. This is Guyanese News. Make sure to like. Subscribe and share. This man, uh, the critic, uh, he got the, the planted chip factory in, in, in like one. I think it's like one. Uh, somewhere. So much opportunities he got. And what has happened to the planted chip factory? And many other things. And the big contracts he's been getting. So in this might take, I wonder, those people who befriend these kinds of guys, who would only bring shame to your entity, to your organization, and to yourself. And when you know that there are people who admire you, people of skills and abilities and talents, but you keep them away at arm's length, and you're going to have people like this, Mikhail Rodriguez, he likes to create war and behave vulgarly, and, and, and is rude and so on. In his early days, he was my friend. I supported him. I liked him. When he used to go about and exposing crime and those kinds of things. And he became a positive critic. And then he became lewd and vulgar and rude and raw. But not in the raw. And then apparently some person of authority and power decided to give him a break. Maybe to help him out. I think King also they would probably, in a way, hire him so that he could possibly do some kind of a PR work. When, what kind of a PR work can this man do? Yes, because of his lewdness, he has a lot of viewers and a lot of people like lewdness. They like vulgarities. They like gross chip. When he'll scream out uh, and cuss and abuse on an uh, open mic in Facebook that goes around the world and some of you people out there shamelessly follow him like a like a puppy dog start to say I'm shocked and I'm, I have to use that that people will follow a guy like that every time I see him on the TV I turn off very quickly because it, it hurts my soul so you people out there you need to get rid of this guy out of your um, out of your friends or viewership okay I'm not saying to terminate him as your friend on Facebook as soon as you see he come, comes on with his lewdness, let go. 
this guy is a, a total disgrace to this country, to our society, to our youths. The cussing and the vulgarity and the lewdness and the rawness that he goes on with. And children are listening to Facebook and looking at Facebook. You don't see him saying anything of any sense. And suddenly start to speak a nice kind of semi-American English language. The best thing coming out of Guyana. And then he gone into the nonsense. You people of position and authority and power, you need to keep this man not at arm's length. But out of sight. And those people who are good and loyal and good to this country, and in many ways to you, people of powers, you need to recognize them. Not take it for granted that they are already on your side, that you don't have to do anything because you got them already. Remember, these are good, positive people that are good for the society and for the country. I will never do anything or say anything to upset the order or the system and put vulgarity and lewdness and rudeness on open television. I got another very sad part. Former PNC General Secretary Oscar Clark passes away. I'll be doing a special in the raw on that. God bless his soul. May he find, as I said, his religion, eternal peace, eternal rest. This is now local businessman Asadin Muhammad in the better days when they were trying to help this man who was always hanging behind them. The Asadin Muhammad and the Muhammads don't, never really needed him. He kept hanging by them, obviously, from what I noticed and I observed, and it is alleged by most people. He was everywhere to go, he was turning up, turning up, turning up. So they gave him a break. And we have seen what has happened. Now, the High Court. The, oh, this, this caption here on the photo person that is exposing Guyanese critics is the RK security boss. He have his own Facebook page and YouTube. His YouTube channel name is Indira if you want more of his content. But this is Guyanese news. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment in the comment section. RK security boss is a friend to Shell Mohammed. As a Mohammed father. is saying the High Court local businessman Ashraddin Mohammed left and Mikhail, the Guyana critic, Rodriguez in happier times. I don't know what kind of a critic this guy is. You know, I feel sorry he has brought himself down to such a level because he went so high in the sky. I was getting the pie in the sky. And then now the pie in the sky has turned uh, air pie. The High Court on Wednesday ordered Mikhail Rodriguez, popularly known as the Guyanese critic, to restrain from re repeating accusations and def defam defamatory remarks he publicly made against local businessman Asuddin Mohammed. I saw some of that. Information reaching Kaicho News are that Mohammed, through his lawyers, Punai and Punai, filed for the injunction to shut up critic on Monday, May 13, 2024. Well, I got a bit disturbed under the circumstances. You know how things go. This is why it's in the raw. Now back to Mikhail. That's a real name, you know, to pronounce um, Mikhail. There's no such thing as Mikhail. But, you know, the Englishman always try to do something like Yeshua, the real name of Jesus Christ. They give it the Englishman name, give him and say Jesus. Right? So, it's, it's Mikhail, Yeshua. Anyhow, come back to this um, interesting matter. Um, they, they got an injunction to shut up critic on Monday, May 30, 2024. Well, I don't think he needs that name or deserve that name critic anymore. What kind of a critic is he? According to the court order seen by Kaicho News, Mohammed sought an injunction restraining the respondent slash defendants. The Guyanese critic, whether by themselves, servants and or other agents, whosoever from uttering 
repeating, posting, printing, sharing, reproducing, broadcasting, or otherwise disseminating, either by video, audio, broadcast, print, social media, or by other electronic means, the offending words, utterances, statements, and publications of words. Statements and publications similar to those made by the defendants on Facebook on the 17th of February 2024 and the 14th of March 2024. The application was heard before Justice Navindra Singh on May 14th, 2024. And on Wednesday, he granted a gag order. Oh, reminding me of Trump. A gag order against the Guyanese critic. And in right now, things getting from bad to worse for Guyanese critics. Because enough of Guyanese critics, main supporters, are distancing themselves from him. This is Guyanese News. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel for breaking trending Guyanese content. Give this video a thumbs up. Make the thumbs up go to 1000 thumbs up. And leave a comment in the comment section. Share your opinion concerning Guyanese.